It's been community noted. The New York Times, as we covered yesterday, changed their headline on it three times. Uh, you made the point that they showed a, a picture under the headline on the front page of the New York Times that was not the hospital. It hit a parking lot. But I want to show you, because you're making the point of how quickly the media just takes Hamas's word. Hamas says something, and then the media, the corporate press, just repeats it. Here's MSNBC reporting what we now know to be a complete lie. But the Palestinian health ministry is saying a hospital in Gaza City, in the northern end of Gaza, has taken a direct hit from an Israeli airstrike. They are saying hundreds, at minimum 300 people, have been killed in this strike. Now, we have not yet heard any comments about this allegation from the Israeli military, but these images that are coming out of Gaza City are absolutely harrowing. Ben, how do we explain to people that when they say the Palestinian government or the Palestinian health ministry, they're talking specifically about Hamas, and as you laid out, they want as many dead civilians or at least the idea of dead civilians as possible? I mean, they're liars. This is the part that's astonishing. You're literally taking the word of the people who committed a genocidal massacre of Jews five minutes ago, and you're pretending that they tell you the truth on these matters. Now, we know for a fact that Hamas lies about this stuff on the routine. They do it routinely. In 2014, the New York Times admitted that Hamas, their health ministry, their so-called health ministry, lies routinely about casualty, casualty statistics. The Washington Post reported the same thing. If you are a reporter in the Gaza Strip, you're only there because Hamas is allowing you to be there. What that means is that if you don't say what Hamas wants you to say, they will either expel you or they will kill you. Everyone mm -hmm. knows this in the Gaza Strip. And yet they take at face value the, 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 the proclamations of an actual honest-to-God terror group. And then when it turns out that every element of the story is false, the ro it was a Palestinian Islamic Jihad rocket. It did not hit a hospital. It hit the parking lot next to the hospital, doing no actual structural damage to the hospital itself. When every single element of the story turns out to be false, the media then say, well, you know, the story is now being contested. It's not being contested. You mm -hmm. guys blew it. And not only did you blow it, you blew it for a very particular reason, which is you were eager. You were eager for a story of an Israeli atrocity that you could use to juxtapose with what happened on October 7th so you could go right back to your moral equivalence nonsense, thereby exacerbating all conflict in the Middle East and getting more Jews and Arabs killed, by the way, because when conflict arises in the Middle East, it isn't just Jews that are getting killed. Jews mm -hmm. then have to go in and kill the bad guys, and that means that a lot of innocent people are going to die.